Good time to inspect anything inside here. Make sure nothing's loose. Nothing's not not acting right. That roller is That's why you always check, people. Something's, something's come loose. We're going to have to readjust it and tighten it. But the only way you can do that is get this log back off the mill and set your mill back up because it either needs to be down there or up there. And that's a huge difference. It's going to really affect how this mill cuts. So. We're going to have to pack up the putt here. We're going to roll this log off and uh, put a new blade on there and uh, try to see where our set's at. So we'll be back in just a minute. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Beardy Lumber. Uh, we greatly appreciate you tuning in. In today's video, uh, it'll probably start with you see a solid and we stop for a blade change. And my suggestion is every time you change the blade, look over your mill. See if you've uh, got any issues, any problems. Uh, we found one and uh, it was an hour or so getting it all put back together and getting it adjusted. But uh, as always, we're running uh, Joe Main's saw blades. Uh, he works for Industrial Cutting Tools. His information will be in the description below and uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Thanks guys. Matthew's going to verify the tension on this new blade before we do anything. Make sure it's uh, adequate. Tripod don't want to stand up here. Now with the tension on that blade, it's naturally going to pull that roller up. It should. Yeah, it has. Let's pull that roller up. Let's kill that fan. this roller's moved, I'm going to verify our height from left to right. And I'm going to do it on top of one of our bed rails. I'll probably do it on top of a couple of them. Just double check. And you can sit here and try to read 60 fourths. I found it easier if I just moved the mill slightly until I get on a solid number. There's 12, then on top of the blade, 12 and okay. Let's see. That is dead on 12. That 
it's actually just just the fraction loaf, which is is adequate. Uh, they they recommend a sixteenth to thirty second of lift on this side. So I'm gonna slide down and check it on the next roller just to verify on the next bed. I need the book for it. Let's This this one is, this one is low. I'll check for that one. loosen the two bolts and then do raise the jack bolts. You need wrenches and sockets. You're gonna need on the shallow the long one. Get it here right here. Uh, it's, it's standard. Three quarter inch. Turn your camera on here. Up here. Okay. It's so bright, I can't see. Okay, what we run into here, uh, this bed rail is a, a solid 16th, it's not just a hair more low compared to the other ones before I even try to set this blade we'll bring this into spec and then we'll we'll go ahead and reset the blade hot here in North Carolina today. It's supposed to be mid 90s. I'm not wishing cold weather, but a little cool weather would be nice. Okay, that one's loose. Matthew's gonna loosen the other one. Look at the pack of wrenches. Over here where I get to it. I'm gonna do, we're gonna loosen the tension bolts, loosen the jack bolt. You 
you're not. You're down on the boat. Yeah. Just loosen it up. Okay. Now, we're going to reposition the meal over top of the blade. Okay, Matthew, I'm going to need you to get in there and Bring it forward so this is kind of fired up a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. Screw that jack bolt up. Keep going. You're going the wrong way. You're going down. That's going down. No, it ain't. It's pushing the jack. It's pushing it up. Is Whoa, your number stop. getting bigger or yeah. smaller? Getting right where I want it. Do the next one. Oh, that blade's sharp. It's new. I'll get out of the sunlight so I can see. Turn it. Just a little, a little more. Whoa. I'm not going to hear the third file with this one. Yeah, that's good. Open up one click. Too much. Down. Up there. Got just a little more elevation than I like on that blade. Uh, that's 12 and an eighth. So 12 and that's 12 and a sixteenth. To 12 and three sixteenths. Move to the next one. It's not tight, it's just tighter than I can turn my hand.
shit. That moved it. What I'm doing, I'm watching this number shrink as I raise this bed rail up. It was actually just a tad low. Try to align the blade, I need to have the bed in line. So I went through and verified. This one was out just a little bit, and the one behind me is out quite a bit. So once we get those leveled up, then we can do the blade. Okay, bring it back to here, not up and down. Adjusted that side to 12 and a 16, which is right on the money. And this one actually needs to go up just a little bit. If you come over here and twist it, Matthew, it ain't a whole lot, just a little bit. Yeah, that way. Keep going. There you go. Now, we have all four bed frames in the same position. They're all parallel. Yeah, they're all parallel. Okay. I'll tighten them back down. Okay, throw that out of the way. We'll tighten the other one. That's what wood miser gives you with your mill. It's made to do exactly what we're getting ready to do. You want to clip it between your teeth, to make sure you're not sitting on sitting on a uh, tooth that's bent up or bent down. You want to be right between it. So we're going to, we're going to use this to measure here as well as out here and see if our blade is is level or diving or if it's trying to rise a little bit. And we'll adjust that with these uh, guide rollers here. So same thing, I'm gonna set it out here. I'm gonna put my tape measure kind of on a known number. Makes it easy to, to measure by. Okay. Just a little more. Right now on the back of this blade guide tool, I want you with that. I'm setting it 11 inches. Uh, let me measure the front of it. And I'm 
set and bed on 11 inches. Let me verify it here. Okay. Out here, if we set our mill up properly, we should be setting at about 11 and a 16th because we know we have a 16th of rise this way. Get over, get over top of my level. We're 11 and a 16th. And we're just a hair under 11. So this guide roller right here actually needs to turn uphill just a little bit. This one's setting good other than it's loose. So we need to re-tighten it. Need a half inch wrench and the uh, That's your set behind you here. Allen wrenches. They're right behind you. Okay. that loose and we'll re-verify the alignment on it before I tension it back down. Get on 11. Get on 11. Yep. So that side is right where we want it. I've tightened, tightened the slack out of that bearing. Just want it within a sixteenth. Yeah, but I work I work with tighter margins than they want. You need a half inch or nine sixteenth sock. Short one. Lace. Okay. Was I moved the bottom of it up just just ever so slightly. Now, while I'm holding that, I'm gonna snug it up with a wrench. Do the same thing up here. Uh, one thing. Okay. One thing before I really snug it down, you need to verify how far out you are on your rollers here. So if you need to make an adjustment. Now would be a good time. Man, you never get running, so I don't know exactly where it's centered. So, so. Okay, that's snug enough. Now let's go out here. 
I know I got to adjust it, so I'll go ahead and break the top one and the bottom one loose. Okay, just slightly loosen the jam nut. Okay, we're gonna re verify which way we need to move. That is sitting perfectly at 10 inches. And that one's a, just a, like a 64th low. So, need to raise the bottom one just slightly. That may have been too much. For a Too much. This is not hard, people, but it is it is fiddly. It takes a little time. So we're ten and half a sixty-fourth, and we're about a sixty-fourth low. So we still need to cover a little bit. So I want to. Do the same thing again. I want to we'll loosen this one up just a little bit and tighten this one up a little bit. And that's rolling, moving that roller uphill. So our number back here should have shrunk and our number out there should have grown just fractionally. Okay, we're just a hair under 10. And we're just, just a hair under 10 right there. Sounds good. That's perfect. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna hold my jam nut. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold the, the piece that moves her attention while I tighten this nut up. Okay. And then I'll finish tightening it with a, with a ratchet. There we go. That's it. Now, Mill's back in alignment. The, the bed rails are in parallel. The blade is in parallel to the, to the bed rails, plus a, about a, almost a sixteenth of rise in it. And the blade itself is running parallel with the deck. Should notice a difference in the cut quality. It was cutting good, but it should even cut better now. So, whew. There you go. How to set up a wood miser LT35. I couldn't verify it before because uh, we put a blade on it and then crank it up and run it to get it centered. If you look here, I know it's hard to see, there's a space between the, the back of the blade and the roller. And if you come over here and look, there's a huge space. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to loosen this up, drive it forward a little bit, and then make realign our blade because we're going to manipulate these a little bit if you touch one thing you got to touch it all unfortunately it's just the way it goes so we're not done yet let's start out by 
getting it out to the right distance, and then we'll re-level it. Oh, that should be all the fluid in there. Plus a 64th, and we're 10 plus a 64th. How to do it? Make sure all these are snug. Don't be intimidated setting up a wood miser. It's uh, it's not overly difficult. It just can be a little tedious, a little fiddly. But uh, if you own one and you can run one, you can learn how to set one up. So let's put a piece of wood up on there and uh, verify verify all our hard work with uh, our cut quality. Matthew's over there blowing out the uh, answer, getting ready for some more boards. But uh, you can see our debarker here. It's actually going across the top, across the top of the wood. That's the imp that's improper location. It's well attached. It's got got four bolts holding it on, as well as two jam screws. 
They're just a hat. Okay, got that loose. Yeah, loosen up our, our jam nuts and actually it will start to descend. Yeah. Okay. Way high. The blade was cutting underneath it. Must have caught it on a piece of wood or something. Well, that blade should be level right here. So we want to kind of half this cut. Well, you, you want to be right close to the bottom of that cut. That way you don't mess up boards. You don't have to use it. But that's still coming down on the Turn it on. Yeah, put it in gear. Okay. Still needs to go down a little bit. Yeah, we're close. Try it again. Turn it on. Yeah. Okay. That's probably gonna do it. Last thing I'm gonna do is check the distance here because you can have it rocked one way or the other. So we're setting that, uh, what is that? Uh, 11 sixteenths. Hard to do with tape measure here. Drop this side just a little bit more. Close. I think I went the wrong way. It was less than you no, that's right. I went the right way. I just went too far. <laughs> went too far. Don't take much. Right wrench. So verify this one is our fixed position. It's sitting at uh, five, five eighths, and this one is not. And that was at five eighths of an inch. That one's five eighths. Okay, now the the blade, when it's running down through there, should be running level. I run our little jam nuts back down. You see how much I dropped it? They were all the way up to there. I probably knocked it out of line the other day. I think I, I bumped it with a log when I was loading it. It can be easily done. Tighten our bolts back up now. Yeah, I don't know if this one is just laid back or lost some of the metal because it's touching good down low well that wall's good square right. that's what i'm looking at i think they need to be curled up the first three of them they need to come in just a little ways because if that log's held tight against the rails right now your first three are leaning out It's supposed to be a sawmill glue, not a 
<laughs> not a maintenance one but hey you gotta do it when it happens you gotta fix it i threw the framing square on a cut after i made it to do two things to verify that our, our cut is square and then to verify against these uprights as to how they're setting this one's it's it's close yeah, the first one could first one could probably use just just a little adjustment right there. We'll have to do it with a smaller piece of wood on there, but yeah. Get it down to a six inch wide piece and get it down. Okay, how about let's try to saw some wood. I'm gonna get this done. Okay guys, uh, if you're still here, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you watched, if you got this far in the video, you've seen where uh, we were sawing along, getting ready to change the blade and run into some difficulty. Had one of our uh, bearing carriers had gotten loose and uh, re still bearing, it was flopping. So sometimes it's an easy fix. In today's case, it wasn't. We had to go through and uh, realign the mill, get everything set back up. It's not a horrible process, but it does take a little bit of time. Uh, it's handy to have uh, new belts, new blades standing by. It's uh, recommended that you put new drive belts and a new blade on it when you're trying to get it to uh, set back up on the parallel on level. But uh, if you got any questions about how to do it, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer them for you. If you've got your Woodvisor owner's manual, it's a great resource. I've owned this one since 2014 and we still go back and look at it and read it and refer to it. But uh, we greatly appreciate you tuning in. If you would, take the opportunity to uh, like, subscribe, and share our videos. And we'll see you back at the mill, guys.